the CSI studio. I'm Nitya Caleb, the editor of Construction Specifier. We are live at the Construct Show. Um, today, I am in conversation with Vivian Bowles, and who is an independent specifier as well as a member of the editorial advisory board of the Construction Specifier. Vivian, welcome to the CSI studio. It's a pleasure to have you here. It's nice to see you. Um, I would like to start off by asking you uh, about how do specifiers spec delegated design? I think we, many of us spec it differently, but we, have, we, uh, we start from the same place. We're starting from the architect's obligation to design everything except what they specifically set aside. And so we, uh, I encourage them to have a clear understanding of what the performance requirements are uh, for the thing that they uh, want to delegate and what the parameters are. And then uh, most of the time it's things like handrails and stairs uh, that they are very concerned about the configuration, uh, but they may not have the all of the engineering that they need in order to um, make sure that the handrail is going to meet code and beyond, uh, or that the stair is going to uh, support all of the, the loads on it. So the they rightly are delegating that responsibility to the fabricator right. who has all of the tools to make sure that that happens, right? right. And so our job as, a, as specifiers is to make sure that we know uh, what the parameters are uh, and that we correctly uh, set up the requirements for the design itself and then the verification of the design. So I try to hit three points. I try to hit what are the, um, what are the requirements, okay. um, what's the process, okay. and what is the verification. Okay. Thank you. Uh, a lot of projects currently are embracing the uh, design assist process. Which is it, completely different. <laughs> which is completely different from delegated design. And there are a lot of concerns surrounding that process. What is your take on the process and how can specifiers um, be, go, you know, handle that process? I think it's, I think it's all about communication right. because design assist ideally is just that. The, uh, the expert is brought on board to assist the designer but not to take their place. And so um, I think PCI, the, um, the Precast Institute, Precast Construct Institute, yeah. um, has a reasonably good set of questions to ask and they're a good guideline for practically any design assist but particularly for facades. Um, to ask the right questions about, well, what's, what's the deliverable from the design assist contractor um, and what's, what remains in the architect's uh, realm. The, the concept is that the architect or the, um, or the engineer of record, whoever the professional of record is, remains the professional of record and carries that liability and that responsibility. Right. Um, you're not giving that away the way you are with delegated design. So we're we're, we're seeking the assistance of the fabricator yeah. for what they're best at. Yes. Uh, for configuration, uh, in the case of uh, you and I were at the um, at the mega panels yes. uh, discussion yesterday, and um, and and so things like where do we break those modules up yeah. on the facade? Yeah. A design assist contractor will have definite opinions and they'll be really uh, maybe informed. the well informed, yeah. yes. They'll be maybe the best person to say why yeah. to yeah. do it a certain way. Yes. Um, so that's invaluable input that doesn't have to rise to the level of taking it over. Right. But we I think that for before we start writing specs for a delegate for a um, design, assist. design assist, thank you. Before we start writing specs for a design assist contractor to procure that really early in the project, we have to have a conversation with the architect about what they need, what they expect, right. and um, that, that that design assist sub is never going to draw all of your drawings for you. Yeah. Um, and they're never going to write that spec for me. Right. <laughs> um, so what the 
you're much more likely to have a good relationship if you understand up front what they're going to deliver and that that's realistic. Thank you, Vivian, for talking to us. Absolutely, yeah. thank it was, you. It was a pleasure thank having you, having you here. That's it from us here at the CSI studio. I'm Nithya Caleb signing off. Thank you for joining us.